The 1922 Tulsa football team came into the season with a lot of unknowns, including a new coach and a new schedule. TU had lost coach Francis Schmidt to Arkansas after he had led them to two unbeaten seasons in three years. The 1922 team was a lot of uh, lettermen left over from the Francis Schmidt era. And then Howard Aker came and uh, brought in some new recruits and he upgraded the schedule. In previous years, TU had dominated weaker opponents, racking up some outlandish scores. In 1922, the approach was, let's upgrade the schedule so there won't be any doubters when we compile a great record, and that's what TU did. It was the toughest schedule that, that TU had played up to that point. After beating an Arkansas Tech team that was unbeaten the year before, TU took out Southeast Oklahoma, then astoundingly had only three days to get ready for Texas A&M in a showdown in one of the first editions of the Red River Rivalry at the State Fair in Dallas. The game was played on a Tuesday, not a traditional Saturday or weekend, but on a Tuesday. And Texas A&M was heavily favored. The year before, they were the champions of the Southwest, and they had a great returning team. They just had so many more numbers than TU. Texas A&M had 40, 50 players. Tulsa had 22 players on its roster, and it seemed like about half of them were hurt. Back then, faculty and the entire population of the school was about 500. So they took, TU was still the underdog in every game they played. After Texas A&M took a 3-0 lead, TU stunned the Aggies with a TD run in the second quarter, then took command in the third. Pivotal play in the game came in the third quarter when Tulsa's big playmaker, Willard Johnny Stewart, scored on a long touchdown pass. It was a sensational play. Uh, Texas A&M tried to rally. They cut it to 13-10, but then in the fourth quarter, Tulsa came up with a goal line stand and held on to win and shocked the football world. Well, it was such a joyous event, the newspaper people began calling that Tulsa went through the A&M line like a tornado. The celebration was stupendous, with classes canceled and the fans and the student body welcoming the team back at the train station the next day. In 1991, Barry Lewis interviewed Harold Balcom, the captain of the 1922 team. Harold remembered um, the reception at, after the game uh, when they returned home was just amazing. Um, the president of the Tulsa Chamber of Commerce presented all the members of the TU, all the players, golden footballs. Oh, and back to the tornado thing. Coach Aker thought it would be a good idea to nickname the TU team the Golden Tornadoes. But they began to check and they found out that back in 1917, Georgia Tech changed their name to the Tornadoes. So they went to the closest thing, Hurricane. And so the nickname Golden Hurricane was born. The biggest test the rest of the season was Coach Schmidt's Arkansas Razorbacks, and Tulsa prevailed 13-6. Although outnumbered and outsized all year long, TU persevered. These were great players. And again, they were down to 22 players midway through the season, and you had to be tough. They weren't playing against uh, junior colleges or things like this. They were playing against the best teams in this area. The 8-0 1922 Tulsa football team, to this point the last unbeaten squad in Golden Hurricane history, and now in the University of Tulsa Hall of Fame.